So now that the change order is done and released, we're logged in as Mike Manager, we can see that if we go to the Bogey Redesign Project, everything is done. Essentially, we've got all of our data here inside of the project. The last thing that we're going to do is take the top level overall assembly and uh, select that from the project, from the, the link to the item, and go to the Bill of Materials and Notice that everything is set to publish to ERP. In other words, this is all ready to go out. So from the right-click context menu, select Export Items. This is going to take all of the items and all of the information and give us a means of sending this out in a common format. So I'd like you to select Level Number, uh, select a, a location on your desktop, and just call this Overall Item Export and click on Save. So this is going to save out a CSV, but we're not done yet. What we want to do is map over the field. So when we save this out, there is metadata inside of the item, and some of that comes from the file. And we need to save this out and put this in a particular order. So you can drag some of the fields from, the, uh, from Vault Professional over onto the right side. Now, depending on the ERP, they may want things called, uh, rather than quantity, they may call that uh, QTY. And title, uh, for instance, we'll backspace over this for the property called uh, number. Uh, maybe in, uh, the ERP system calls this part number. And it's in this way that you can configure it and tailor it for what that upstream system needs. So we'll finish this off, send it, and then go out onto your desktop and open up that CSV file with Excel. And you'll see this is what this is one of the deliverables out of Vault Professionals Item Master is a, uh, a flat file format that or a common file format that allows us to save information out and uh, import this electronically or digitally into an upstream ERP or MRP system, reducing the human error of having to make a print and then type all of this into another screen.